Hello and welcome back to the Let's Play of Civilization VI as Georgia. So it just occurred to me, you can actually get four era score by being the world's first religion to adopt all your beliefs. So I should have done that a long time ago. We're going to go ahead and do that. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to have to waste some spreads at some point. So I'm going to evangelize my belief with that apostle and we will choose the discount, and then once we choose the discount, then we'll also choose the faith for every city following our religion, and we'll just have a ton of faith, and we'll just keep buying apostles and taking over the world. And then we will have a golden age, and so we won't really need anything else. Um, I don't even need this barracks. I'm going to take a granary really quick, and then I'll probably just sit there and pray. We need to take our um, infrastructure in here. I could build the Petra, but I don't think that I want to. I think that it would be better to... Um, Ooh, I can get another governor promotion by getting the, um, foreign ministry would be interesting. Intelligence agency is probably a little bit better in case I ever get denounced, but I, I won't get denounced at this point. Grandmaster Chapel gives me plus five faith. I think the spy is probably a little bit better because just plus five faith is, well, being able to buy land units with faith would quell any rebellion later. I think it's definitely that one. But we do have another governor title, so we can finally get the patron saint. So we get two promotions, which means I actually need to hightail it back with this one that only has one promotion. Uh, we need to come back and evangelize our belief. So we will take the um, holy order to get the discount. And then next turn, whatever this apostle is, we will just use it. And then that'll be basically our era score. We might have to go buy horses. We did get theocracy. Any policies to change? No. I think everything's just fine. Urban planning is a little bit obsolete at this point. I'm going to start to try to repair my relationship with Wilhelmina by sending her a trade route. Amsterdam is just fine. I mean, it's not like I have to, but I might as well. Okay, let's go ahead and chop out some more food in the capital. So now we're up to seven population. It'll take us a little bit less time to build that Hagia Sophia. And then we might be able to get another... Um... District. Oh no, that didn't convert Wente Mapu. Uh-oh. So we'll send this two-charge boy up there to fix that. We're running out of apostles, actually. We might have to take a break in our conversion spree. But we have the religious alliance with her, which is just fine. Yeah, now that we have crossbowmen, this is trivial. So we'll start to take a road to Kumasi and everything. Yeah, so now she's actually happy with me that I'm trading with her. Let's take duplicate... Um, I guess I have duplicate chocolate. I don't need that actually though. And then I want to generate less grievances with other players. That's what I really want because I don't want people to be like, hey, don't convert my cities and then be upset that I'm converting their cities. So he actually got more grievances. I think that's still just fine. I think they embargoed Coco, but I really wasn't paying attention. It's literally not important at all to me what happened in that Congress. I'm going to come over here and probably chop out the Haya. All right, this one. Oh, yes, translator. Oh, that's so painful to try to give up. There'll be more translators. There we go. We will take uh, pilgrimage to get plus two faith for every city following this religion, which is currently a lot. So now we're earning 40 more faith per turn. That's four era score. There's our golden age. And actually, I'm going to stare at this Barbarian camp for a minute because I don't want to clear it because I want to be efficient on my era score. So we'll move in and convert Gulu Mapu. Oops, I didn't mean to talk to you. Just because we're friends doesn't mean I have anything reasonable to say to you. You were coming up here to Wente Mapu. Thank you. We're just trying to get Judaism out of this space. And we'll probably continue converting to her because we have that religious alliance. And then once we're done with that religious alliance, we can actually get a religious alliance with Genghis Khan and convert the last um, 
save to my religion. We can take a promotion here, but it's more important to take shots against the crossbow now that we know that he exists. Yeah, he's almost dead. And then we'll just fortify here. There's Eastern Orthodoxy and Fili Mapu. And then we can come over to Nag Mapu. Isn't this the one that has... No. Um, oh, we used him up. Okay, so now I can start buying more Apostles. 350 Look at all the discount that I, I wasted by waiting so long on that. That was not a good call. Alright, and she was gonna make a demand. Let's no. <laughs> You're not doing that. Okay, unfortunately we got a crossbow or a uh, swordsman in here, but that's okay. We can still just watch him and prevent him from doing a whole lot of damage to us. I'm just gonna keep that camp as a pet. We're gonna take a water mill because um, reasons. We want to grow the city to where it's a uh, higher population, and then that way we might be able to flip him. We can take two promotions, so what you do is you walk a little bit, and then you take a promotion. I think I still like going... Well, actually, this way is a little bit faster. So I will walk over here to where I have one more movement left, then I'm going to take a promotion. None of these are good. I'll take Indulgence Fender, and then we're going to go ahead and buy another Apostle. We can convert this to Eastern Orthodoxy, and then we're establishing a fault line for Judaism to go away. We will go to Candy, and we'll spend a charge on Candy. So this crossbowman got a little bit of damage, so I'm going to go ahead and take the kill with the crossbowman, because that will also earn me the promotion, or close to it. I guess I'm already at a level, so I should have fortified. We'll take the promotion on this one, we want volley. We don't want to clear the camp yet, so we're going to just sit here and fortify, stare at the camp. Um, again, uh, we're going to do the same thing, so we're going to move, we're just going to go ahead and queue up movement. I think I'd like to convert um, probably Nagamapu next, because that has a different religion, which is it technically getting pressure exerted on it. So it's exerting pressure on ours. Then we move over, we take another promotion. Oh, I forgot my second promotion. Oh, Moksha must have just gotten established. I don't know. We'll take Heathen Conversion, because that's the only one that seems to matter of those three. That was just a whiff. And we buy another Apostle. Okay, so now there's not a majority religion, so we can start exerting Eastern Orthodoxy pressure on Candy. It may flip back to Judaism, which would be fine if it does. It's all going to be okay. We now convert Puel Mapu, and then let's see how we're doing on the victory condition. Uh, we have converted four civs. We've converted him, but I still want to get all of his cities in line because that way I'll be able to exert more pressure and then we'll go for Judaism. This could be the last episode. It might be the next last episode. I don't know. So this is going to take 300 production and we can get 70 now. I don't think that's worth it necessarily. I could wait. I'm going to wait. The longer I wait, the more production I get to eke out of that, just a little bit. But anyway, we want to get this um, Hagia Sophia done, and then we want to place... Ooh. So we want to get the Hagia Sophia done, and then we want to place a plus four theater square so that we can get uh, another era score out of that. Potentially get our fifth... Um... You know, I'm going to swap in Monumentality for a second. So we'll take out Urban Planning, and let's sub in Monumentality so I can get a Builder. So I can get some of these uh, resources done so I can grow this city. City population stagnant. Why? Focus on food. You know what? Focus on food. I should have been doing that all along. Let's reveal Miter on the map. Diplomatic Service is done. Now we get up to... Oh, I guess Medieval Fairs, or maybe the Enlightenment. It's kind of mood at this point, like we don't really need anything else. I guess Triangular Trade is technically the best, so we can get up a bunch of gold. Oh no, we circumnavigated the globe this time. Oh, that was five points we could have spent productively, but that's okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and convert this city to Eastern Orthodoxy because I get a little bit of extra faith for that. Ooh, I can actually do... I thought we couldn't do this because we were allies, but I guess I can fight. Don't rely on me as a source of knowledge, necessarily, because I'm still learning things. Great, he ran away. Let's go ahead and convert a couple more times here. Let's convert over here. I guess we take Pilgrim and then we definitely queue up the movement to go towards the Vesuvius because we want that uh, translator to have extra charges. And we buy another Apostle. Once again, we stare down the Barbarian camp. Build a farm in here. In a couple turns, we'll have this water mill done. I'm going to actually just pick the tiles to work. So work that one, work that one, work that one, and work that one. Okay. I could build Chichi Nitsa. Why would I do that? I think I need to take a dam. Yeah, uh, if I take, I could take a farm triangle here from the floodland if I just take this farm right, or take the dam right here. And I could also build an industrial zone that helps out in more cities if I do that. So that seems like the better arrangement of things. This university is basically useless to us. We need to, we need to get more faith, more apostles down. I'm going to start getting commercial hubs. Spies are attractive, but I think commercial hubs are a little better. So I can take a plus three hub here, and then that makes that one also a plus three hub. Yeah, when we get to four population in the city, we'll get another hub. As a matter of fact, I might as well just chop so I can get it now. I'm chopping a lot more in this game than I usually do. All right, farm triangle there. And then this guy comes in here. Let's fight. Let's eat you. Come on. Again with the flooding. Did it rip up one of my- it ripped up both of my farms. And it killed my builder. That's really annoying. Let's eat a missionary. Am I seriously not getting the city to Eastern Orthodoxy? Come on. This builder is dead. Oh, he only has one charge left. And we got scouted by barbarians. Oh boy. Where is this camp? It's over here. There's a niter city over here. That could actually be pretty good. But I would rather just have fewer cities in the Empire. Okay, there's the Renaissance era. We can finally do some of our chores. Istanbul, or um, sorry, Ottomans have a dark age again, but it, I guess you just never get to the point where you can convert uh, enemies on deity. Let's just clear the camp and then we'll start moving our crossbowmen over towards taking out this camp. Okay, we want Exodus and then Actually, let's take Reform the Coinage so we can't get plundered. That's fine. Scripture and Simultaneum, that's still fine. And then, yeah, I like that. We do have Envoys to send. Um, I don't think we have anywhere to go. Actually, we could um, become friends with Candy. I should be. I should have sent those a long time ago. Now we're getting even more faith. Can we please convert the city yet? There we go. Okay, and then this Apostle needs to just repair. So I'm going to bring him home. Yes, they are ships. They rest and repair. They don't actually heal. Now we start converting her and making her mad. How long until our alliance needs to be renewed? 14 turns. You know what? I might actually convert her and then make a promise and then go convert somebody else. Because I don't think I'll be able to make significant gains in 14 turns. Once I, I, I might actually just wait the 14 turns, get my apostles in place, and then renew the alliance, and then immediately start converting her. That seems like the best play. So we're going to get our units in place, because she doesn't care about the units being in place, I don't believe. And then, 
Ooh, can we go to war? We can have religious combat, so that's actually a strike against that plan. We need to get our units in all together in a big ball of death. Why can't I convert this city? Oh well, 736 turns and I'll go to Judaism. What is what is up with that? That doesn't make any sense. I have waited a few turns for apostles. Oops, we're gonna buy a guru out of here because now that we know we can go to, to uh, religious combat. I'm gonna move this to Talavi and see if I can trade with uh, Mohenjo Daro. All right, I did not get any points for that. I should have though. I should have paid attention for that to get a couple extra victory points, but whatever. Um, I kind of want monumentality and is monumentality is invalidated now. Um, I'll just go buy a builder because I want to get a, a little more production in here to get this done faster. I guess I could also chop it out and then place mines. So anyway, we're getting our army. We're going to consolidate it and then we're just probably going to march and um, go to combats with her and win some engagements. I wonder if that counts. That's a major defeat. Four combat strength due to difficulty, intel on opponent's movements. We need a spy. We need a spy. We need a trading post. Right. Uh, where can we get a spy? Gori probably has more production than Skumi. Oh, someone declared war with me. Oh no, the player that's about to die is making a last flailing attempt at existence. It's actually good that a player is going to die because it reduces the amount of tourism that a player can earn. So technically speaking, I'm all for that. All right, let's get one more farm. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to chop this out. Because I don't want these to flood again. I keep not buying apostles every turn when I should be buying apostles every turn. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and buy another apostle in Batumi. Or actually, Talavi. Whatever, let's just trade with the best gold. Istanbul is 28 gold per turn, that's a lot. Yeah, we're totally being raided in here. We need a crossbow before these other crossbows can get near. Actually, I'll take the swordsman. Because it's cheaper. This is all fine. Oops, this is all fine. You totally can have an embassy, thank you. And there's the Haya, which gives one extra charge. What does it do again? Haya. Missionaries and apostles can... Okay, so it doesn't have to be from that city. It can be anywhere. Oh, I guess you can buy them two at a time. What? Is that a change? It wasn't like that before, I really don't think. Maybe, maybe I'm bad. I, I'm basically bad. Let's take Martyr. And I want a spy. I want the theater square. I want the plus four theater square. Let's take an attack against that sword. We're, need, we're gonna need to move this guru over here. Get all our apostles in one big ball of doom. Waiting for that alliance to renew. And maybe under attack. Did she die? She died. That's fine with me. All right. One more turn, we'll have a dam, and then we won't flood anymore. There's a market. Get the kill on that sword and then come post in the city. We're going to move all of our units up. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I need? I need military tradition because I need flanking bonuses because this is a military expedition. So I'll get flanking bonuses. And then I also probably should have gotten the oligarchic legacy policy card. Oh man, tornadoes. Uh, military tradition's done. Let's take mercantilism again. Production. I guess I get a barracks so I can get my um, resources up. Kind of want to take an attack on this crossbow. Oh, we need walls. Let's get walls. Why not walls? Actually, I should go over to DDC. Yeah, we're getting rated hardcore in there. I kind of, you know, there's a give and take. I wish I were more central to the action so I could spread these faster, but being over my own little corner means I'm a lot safer against uh, threats against my religion, so there's basically no threat of losing it, which is pretty good. Of course a tornado would run through here, destroy all of my farms, and also destroy the dam that I just created, because this city is just cursed. Of course this would happen to me. Of course this would happen to me. Okay, so we're actually already engaging in some religious combat over there. Oh wow, this city is under attack. Holy crap, stop giving me so many things. Okay. First thing, this apostle got attacked. Run away. Secondly. Can you not rest? Just go to sleep. You can build an amphitheater. Actually, we need to build a spy. And a trader. We need traders, we need spies. So actually, I should be building the intelligence agency here. I'm gonna start taking some shots against that crossbow. We're gonna fortify there. And I'll start producing a crossbow in here so we can start taking that back. We can skip the turn here. Kill on that skirmisher. The walls in this city because it's actually under threat. Move you back and just tail you to sleep. Let's move this apostle out of the way so we can get uh, flanking bonuses for when they come attack. Similarly, we fall back here. And we just keep building up our death ball. Alright, another farm. Another mine. Okay, move over, shoot the crossbow, shoot the crossbow with the city, step on the sword, and then things are okay over here. You know what, we're going to just uh, pick ideology and move on from the culture tree. Move these apostles over, this guru can come into here. So we're ready to fight, actually. We can actually get a huge victory because this guy has debater so let's take an attack there and let's take an attack there i hope that doesn't count as spreading my religion i'm gonna actually move this forward and then we'll get the guru in place to heal you know what um we probably need to get another guru at some point So she's happy that I have a lot of culture and science. There's square rigging. How many more turns? Alright, next turn we will renew our alliance and then we'll go on the offensive. There we go, get the kill on that. Production in here. Let's produce another trader. When are we going to get our spy? 
Three turns. I should have taken Machiavellianism. So now, there's no Apostles in here because she knows she's cooked if she gets Apostles in here. So let's go ahead and start closing in on... Um, actually, let's go for Swenet. Get some boys in position, and then we'll get some boys in position for Memphis as well. And we'll just quickly convert all of her cities before she has the chance to get too many apostles and fight back. Getting the gurus in place. Go ahead and... actually we want to skip the turn, not sleep, because next turn we will need you. Everybody skip your turn. Skip your turn. Oh, it also tore through the holy site. That's probably why we had such a long time to repair. We should have repaired the holy site first, but whatever, we'll repair the dam first. This city just got its uh, ass handed to it. She does have some, some boys in the area. This is just a pilgrim, it's not a debater. This is a debater. So we're going to get this out of position. We'll put this Apostle in here. Expires in zero turns. So I guess that's the next turn, then. But it expires. So skip turn. This city can take a shot here, we can take a shot here. We can cross the river, we can uh, take the battle cry promotion, we can get over here, we can get... Repair outer defenses. All right, getting close. Um, so now we have a giant death ball. Our alliance will be up. Yep, it's time to renew all of our alliances. Let's declare our friendship. Let's declare friendship with Leo. Let's actually ask for a religious alliance. Will you pay me a little bit of gold for that? You will. And now we have a religious alliance with her. Oops, let's uh, declare friendship here. Let's ask for a military alliance with him. And we ask for another alliance with him. Economic alliance. Great. And Lautaro. Oops. Friendship. There we go. Friendship and then alliances. Uh, let's take a research alliance with him. There we go. We have alliances. We're going to have spies. Let's take an art museum in here because we can. We now have a military to come deal with these barbarians. Take a shot against this crossbow. Move over. Move over. Go back to praying. I guess I probably should get the Taj Mahal because of the arrow score. Alright, and now we can just start sending our apostles randomly over, right? Just go to a part of her empire. And who's the debater? Here's our debater. Let's switch them out. Attack. And that's a stalemate, so we probably shouldn't attack there. But what I will do is convert Swinnet. And we'll get these. Uh, actually, let's come over here and flank. Probably good to flank. And then we'll convert Memphis. There we converted her Holy City. That's some more Era score. And then we'll just keep going with our death carpet. There's mass production. You know, another thing I could do, I'm still mising to this, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I could actually just, um, yeah, there's Eastern Orthodoxy there. Another thing I could do is 
a voiceover later. So I could do the whole Let's Play, upload the whole Let's Play, and then do a highlights where I talk about specific moments and dub over it again. That seems to make sense to me. So one sad thing about this is she will have some apostles that she won't be willing to take out of the city centers because she knows she's under attack. Um, I'm going to move this in the southerly part and try to get him not killed. Actually, he needs to be next to the guru because we need to heal him up. We can repair the outer defenses in Tel Aviv. And I think the city is ready to just sit here and pray for us. Can make a trade route with um, the Ottomans, Istanbul. Great. What else do I do? Um, oh yeah, we wanted to buy more apostles. This is the part where it's like, okay, now I have to phone it in. Finally have a spy. I think we're going to convert her before it counts. So let's go to Karakorum and let's get a listening post in Karakorum. Oh, she's attacking my guru. Uh oh. Shot. Shot. Move in. Move down. Move down, take a shot. Make an attack there. I'm gonna lose that sword, but that's fine. Having to repair all of our holy site infrastructure. Move over here, take a promotion, take the martyr promotion. Move over here, take a promotion, take the um, pilgrim promotion. This guru is actually under attack. So let's actually get this to where it's well defended. This guy is debater. And let's move over and let's actually just heal everybody. Oh, I should have stuck around for this one. Oops. And over here, we can start getting these into place to convert this city. It'll be all over for this city very soon. Convert, convert, and it's already Eastern Orthodoxy. And the swift death is just happening too fast for her to make any argument about. So now with the majority of her cities converted and no real way to reconvert them, once we kill that apostle, we can move on to our last target. Yeah, there's got to be some good way to condense this. I'm going to go ahead and repair this apostle. I think I already have the um, units in place to, to win the game. So I'm just going to play through, and then if, if I can, then I'll condense the video. This is going to convert in two turns. This come over to Mongolia. Boop, boop, boop. Another crossbow to take care of. But soon we will take care of all of those barbarians. All right, and now the time has come to just start converting Mongolian cities, which will be harder, to be sure, because I don't have the agreement with him. So we'll have to start doing it in, in succession, like a carpet. Can I attack him in here? I don't think I can attack, so... Let's just keep a debater around to keep that missionary locked up. Otherwise, we'll move our army along to deal with Mongolia. 
Just get somewhere in the desert over there. Doesn't matter. Alright. Take a shot against this crossbow. Get over on vision on the camp. And we can clear the camp. How long until the air is over? 20 turns into the air is over. I think I can win the game before I even ever get a Dark Age, which would be the first time I've ever played Civ and gone Golden Age for every single era. Uh, not so great we have a enemy in the area, but good news is we can attack him really favorably if we just get the right units in place. Meanwhile, I will convert... Uh, I'm going to take the Grievances... I guess Coca-Cola is next. Why is this guru? Just skip your turn. It's fine. Just skip your turn, everybody. If you're done, let's skip your turn. All right. Let's choose the Ottomans for this, and I will choose me to have culture bombs. Why not? Of course, as soon as I walk towards an empty camp, a swordsman spawns at exactly the wrong time, but hopefully we can get the clear anyway. We did, and now it's finally done tormenting our poor city over here. Uh, we'll repair the mosque. We'll take a mosque in here. Why not? Says Candy. We have two more governor titles available. Let's go ahead and just uh, get a little bit of error score by promoting Moksha. And we will go over to Amalik. We just want to create a couple listening posts. So, first things first, the debater's going to make the attack. Oh, I can't because we have a military alliance and we're... Is that it? Or why can't I attack him? Why can't I attack from there? Is it because it's on an encampment or what? I think it's maybe because he's standing on an encampment or... I, I don't know. Anyway, let's just get our units in place to make more conversions happen. Just somewhere in there, just go do something reasonable. There's industrialization finished, or almost finished. We'll go ahead and convert over here. Oh, there's the game. We have a basic need to believe in something greater than ourselves. We crave solace in the darkness and light into our path. Thanks to you, we found meaning amid the cosmos. Well, that one was pretty fun. Uh, I really do like work ethic, and I like getting a pantheon that gives you adjacency on, so you get a bunch of faith, get a bunch of production. Like, this was a really fun one. I don't think that I like dramatic ages all that much. I still don't. Like, I, it was easier to get golden ages than I thought, but I just do not like the idea of losing all my cities. Uh, it did make me play differently, so I'm actually, I'm happy that I did it. I'm happy that I did it with Georgia, because that was kind of cool to be able to swap in and out a bunch of policy cards. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, Again, 
you get to the slum slum of religion where you get a bunch of military units and then you just have to control a gigantic army which is just not my favorite thing that's why i don't like religion and i don't really like domination as much i definitely like religion better than domination because religion is easier you can be friendlier i'm very bad at domination but anyway a domination game is coming at some point i gotta keep practicing but uh keep your eyes peeled for that anyway thank you very much for watching this uh this series don't forget to leave a like on the video and please do subscribe to my channel if you're interested in future updates have a good day.